Good morning guys, such a brand new day. Um, we are cooking breakfast right now. Um, we're just gonna have bacon and eggs, a um, bit of toast, a bit of hash brown, and start the day. On today's agenda, oh my god, I told you guys yesterday that I wanted to organize the um, the garage, so I have no idea if I can do that today, because we really need to organize that garage. Yeah, I've been waiting on you to build the shelves and then I can do it. Yeah, yeah that's what I've been I waiting on, building the shelves as well. Shelves. Yeah, so I just need to build the shelves, but today at 3 o'clock, I need to go see Edwin. Um, Edwin's back from Sydney, so uh, every single week, we're going to try to catch up to do this little thing that we're doing. Like um, future projects. Yeah, this really, yeah, so obviously it's something that we're trying to push a, a lot quicker if we're meeting up every single week. Um, it's going to be really good. I hope you guys appreciate this, because it's something that um, I've been trying to figure out how to increase our subscriber count, plus... You know what, we could just do stupid pranks, we could. We could just do stupid pranks or challenge videos or, or whatever, but we really want to cater to what we are good at, like sneakers, clothing, fashion, that's, that's our style of vlogs. But, yeah, anyway, let's cook. I also appreciate you, everybody, commenting on yesterday's video because I told the vlog, I don't know if you saw us at the end of it, I was like, guys, comment below and get how to cook for me more. And actually, he offered to cook this, but I'm still a bit iffy about my little kitchen because I love this so much. So I'm preparing all the bacon, no, no, cutting no, no. up I can't the rind cook. and everything. I can't cook because I don't have time. No, you just can't cook either. Even no. when you had time, you never cooked. I bought food. It doesn't matter. I'd still, I still have buy it. Cook. I still buy it. It still comes out of my <laughs> wage and my money. This is his thing. I if I can buy, afford it, yeah, I'd buy then it. Then cook. No. But cooking is just fun. Okay, do you know what we realized? why our bins are all messy because everything we buy is packaged <laughs> or in some sort of like wrapper. Is this enough bacon? I think this is enough. <laughs> Like, wait, look at it. Ready? Bam! And it's got that runny egg yolk. Well, that's his biggest tip. And cheese. So good. Look who's back at the city. Oh, hello, mate. It's Joey. Hey, Chase, doesn't it feel good to have the whole crew back now? Yo, straight up, the vibe of the sneaker laundry when we first opened, unmatched. I like it for anything in my entire life, yo. <laughs> we need to get the entire crew back here, except for JD. Except for JD. Very <laughs> <laughs> JD. But, guys, look at this. This is a rare air. I honestly thought this was some fake Jordan. Because look, it has like the Nike embroidered on the back. And then it has this air Jordan like symbol. Like, no, it does look like it's fake, bro. But the tongue tag says rare air. And that supposedly means it's not rare. Does it, does it mean it's rare? Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey guys. Is uh, this supposed to be rare? Um. Honestly, I don't. I just don't get the appeal. The, that looks terrible on the back of an Air Jordan One. Yeah, dude, that color's not even the same. They should at least a yeah. like, color match. It. It's that's rubbish, man. And this one of these stitchings are, are like really bad. Really this one bad. Here. Really bad. Yeah. Damn. If they did a shattered backboard version, I reckon it'd look cool. But I think it's yeah. No, it's pretty, yeah. I mean, each to their own. Hi. So welcome to uh, today's meeting. Um, you'll notice hickeys on my neck. Uh, it's not from a beautiful woman. It's rather from Hal and his long nails. Um, but today's been quite quite, quite good. Um, today we've got a lot of work done, and um, I'm really thinking the future's looking bright for us all. Uh, have a great day, everybody. All right, so I've nearly finished doing all of the work that I've got to do today. I just hit up a whole bunch of influencers. I got all the info, and I've started making hoodies for them and packing them and whatnot. But it's later in the afternoon, it's like 5.30 and I've decided let's take the little fur babies for a W because Biggie right here, if you guys can see, he's just a really, really adventurous dog. Like he just wants to be outside exploring, sniffing the air, smelling the grass, everything and all of that. Whereas Honey, she's, she likes going on walks and she enjoys it, but she's more of like a home, cozy, stay at home dog. But I felt really, really bad for Biggie today because he was just following Hal around everywhere, like wanting to leave the house. So I've decided, look at him. He's just sniffing my new flowers. Hey, mister, what are you doing? You wanna go for a walk? Look at that little headset of his. Hey, you wanna go for a walkie? Okay. 
Okay, let's go. They're actually the smartest pups. Like they just know that in here is all of their dog clothes and everything. You don't have a collar and you don't, oh, Patty's got a collar, Biggie needs one. Okay, hey, Biggie, Biggie sit. Y'all so crazy. Good boy. Yes, we're gonna go, okay? You just need to relax. Let me put your collar on. Now, the next thing, we need to find you guys a leash. Biggie boy, are you loving your walk? Biggie. Hey, look how intrigued he is by the world. This is my little puppy here. Hey, hey, Mr. Boy. And honey, she's just so excited. She's always happy. She has no idea what's going on, does she, honey? It's actually so cold outside right now though. Come on, guys. Oh, Biggie's leg is caught. Good boy. Probably gonna head back very soon. Oh, what is happening right now? Because it's like literally 10 degrees and I'm freezing right now. Let's continue walking. Hope you guys enjoy these beer, all of them. And you know what I decided to do? I'm going to clear out all of their clothes. I don't know if you're gonna realize, but Honey and Biggie actually have a lot of clothes for little puppies. So this like wardrobe is actually theirs and I'm just gonna clear it out, organize it and go through a whole bunch of stuff so that it's neat for you pups, all right? I'm just gonna go through a bunch of their clothes and show you guys some of the stuff that they have and some of the stuff that I'm gonna throw away. Well, not throw away, I'm gonna donate it. So this one here, I still remember this. We bought this at the start of the year. And if any of you know what these are, these are like those little like Vietnamese. We wear these for like weddings and stuff like that. We got it for honey. We also got Biggie a lion suit, which is so cute and fluffy. Although he doesn't really like wearing it that much. Biggie's got this vest right here. It's just a black, plain black puffer vest, which is pretty cute. I'm going to keep that one there. We've got the Papreme, also have just a plain black hoodie. Jesus, they've already got nearly more hoodies than me. This one is really cute. This one just says pup on it. However, it makes Honey look really, really buff because I think it's one size too small or it just fits her snug. So I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile to keep. We've got this jumper right here, which has the cocaine logo on it at the back. This one's actually one of my favorite. Biggie looks super cute in it. The Paul Lenciaga one. Also got a Bape one. Also, for all these like hype beast ones, shout out to Adora Dogs for sending us these hoodies. What do we have over here? Yo, this one feels so freaking warm. What is it? This one is kind of like an off-white style dog hoodie this one's actually really good material but it's super super fluffy as you guys can see biggie's fur is just fully covered in it as you guys can tell we buy a lot of things for our pups this one is cute as well i want to keep this one even though biggie hasn't worn it for like a year still keep it this one right here i remember i bought this like a year or something ago and it was for the beach it's kind of like that bather waterproof material Honey looks super, super cute in it, but I kind of feel bad when I put it on her. But it's like good because it's a harness. So when she pulls, it's pulling on her body and not on her neck. This one here, I think I'm definitely going to toss this away because it is really, really old and it looks super rugged up. And I don't think Biggie is going to wear this anytime again. Bought this black harness from Kmart. However, it doesn't fit Biggie or Honey's shape very well. I don't know why. Maybe because it's really, really cheap. I thought it was going to help a lot as well so that it would pull in their body and not on their neck. But for some reason, I just don't understand how it works. It's just too loose in areas and too tight in certain areas. So, yeah, I don't know about that one. We've got this one. I really like this one. I think I got this from the reject shop. It just says, I'm not fat, just fluffy. Definitely Honey's. Unicorn from Kmart was a couple dollars. She's only worn this once or twice, but I'm still gonna keep it. And this one, I feel like this is just like an impulse buy, but it's a bee because honeybee, so that's why we bought it. This is like my toy when I was younger. I don't even know how this got into the pile. Here you go, yeah. You wanna go fetch? Ready, one, two, go. 
<laughs> We've also got this one here which says Supre Supre Dog. I don't know. This logo here is actually really bad and the material is so so thin on that one. And I think this is one of the last ones. Batman. Don't know if that fits big anymore, but we're gonna keep it. Two large jumpers, three large jumpers. Oh no, two. This one right here, which is Honey's Puffer Vest. This one is so good, it keeps her so warm and she loves wearing it. And last but not least, we have this Comme des Garçons Play Dog Hoodie. It's like a t-shirt actually, but it's still pretty cool. Look at the pile of dog clothes that we have for them. It's so insane. I'm gonna probably later in the future just get little coat hangers and hang them up. But for now, I've put in one of our little drop down boxes and I'm just gonna fold it and layer them up in there. So it's a bit neater. Up above here, I started putting like their collars, their leashes, their clipping tools, and there's a couple more in here that I need to get. It is next level freezing outside right now, but I gotta take this steering wheel off and push it closer. I gotta remove this device right here. Wait, hang on, it's gonna take this screw out. Oh my God, it's so cold. It's another level cold. See how my steering wheel goes like that? I gotta take that off, move it straight to the back just because uh, having this mechanism here is illegal and my car's going into roadworthy tomorrow. Not too sure how long it's gonna take. Um, they're just gonna fix everything up for me and get it roadworthy and back on the road. I mean, it is back on the road, but I just can't legally drive it after the 28th, and that is in a couple of days, to be honest, actually. When is that? That is today. Today is the last day I was legally allowed to drive it, so damn, I should've dropped it off today, to be honest. Uh, all done, it's back to being normal. I don't know how much I like it, I mean, it's nicer now because like, I can reach my indicators and stuff like that, but it doesn't give me that cool. And I can feel a bit of play in these screws, which is annoying as well. Oh. Yeah, whatever. At least it does the job. <laughs>